And that's a sleeping Chevy. How you doing, bud? Who else we got around here? Who else we got around here? A little nose peeping out of here. A little wiener in there. Everybody missed you, bud. Sorry to disturb your slumber. What else we got around here? Oh, we got a little Frankie over here, or Big Frank, whatever you want to call him. He's a little Big Frank, our foster boy. Good morning, boys. Do you know what we're doing today? You look awfully excited. I see that tail wagon. Diesel, are you going to help? It's cold. I'm going to stay inside. All right. What's on the agenda for today? Christmas. So we got all of our Christmas lights from last year out and fixed. I fixed all the ones that were broken. We got some more that my mom gave to us that they weren't using anymore. And then we also added to our collection this year. Very excited to get this whole yard lit up. If you didn't know already, or if you're new, Britt and I are kind of big on Christmas. We get very excited about Christmas. We live for Christmas every year. So we don't really do a lot of decorating for the other holidays. Maybe we will in the future, but Christmas is by far our favorite. So as you can tell, we like Christmas lights. <laughs> So we're gonna be able to get the whole house done all the way around. We got these icicle lights. They're just gonna go along the front of the house underneath the eaves trough, underneath these red and green lights. And the other red and green lights will go all the way around our garage. And if we have enough, we'll go out and put them around the cabin as well. We'll see how much we have left. We got quite a bit here, got quite a bit. I think we should be good. And then these guys, we're gonna find places for them probably around our, our beams. I can't really see them from here. Uh, on the front deck over here probably find a spot for them out here somewhere on the porch and Britt also got a couple of things to set up this year she got a five foot tall snowman and also some presents they're not they're not for you though Chevy I'm sorry they're not for you but you can be friends with them you can name him you can name you can't name him frosty that name's taken already Okay, but there's some presents to go beneath the, that's gonna go out on the porch as well. So it should be very Christmassy this year. So every year we try to add on to our collection of Christmas lights and Christmas decorations. So one day, what, what's that movie called? What's that movie called, Brett? Christmas with the Cranks? No. Deck the Halls. Deck the Halls. Well, I was like, we'll be seen from space. It's gonna be great. And we got all LED lights this year, which is pretty much all you can get nowadays anyways. The incandescent bulbs are sort of non-existent anymore. The LEDs take up a lot less power, so should be all right. It's just for the Christmas season. It's worth it. So like most of you who watch my channel know, uh, up here in Canada, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October. So after Remembrance Day, which is the same thing as Veterans Day for you guys in the States, after that, Christmas starts. All right, you can't turn on your Christmas lights before Remembrance Day, but after that, it's full on Christmas until New Year's. And our lights usually stay on until spring, something like that. Especially if we put this much effort into it every year, we want to enjoy it for more than just like a couple of weeks. So we we, we put them up around this time. Uh, next year, I think we're going to put them up in a warmer part of the year. We'll probably put them up in like September or, or October or something and then turn them on after Remembrance Day, but we... We waited a little bit long, but we did get to the store early enough. We sort of cleared out Canadian Tire of a lot of last year's stock. All of this was on sale, so we saved a lot of money because they're trying to get rid of last year's stock because they want to bring in this year's. So, enough talking, let's get to it. I gotta figure out how to use these. Uh, where's this, okay. Snap-on clips, because this year, we had to take down, uh, well, we have to set them up differently this year, right? Because we have eaves troughs now on the house. So I got these hooks and it'll hopefully, hopefully work and it'll make it a lot easier because the rest of them have to be stapled on, but these can just be hooked on, makes them easier to clean up in spring as well. We'll probably take them all down in, once it warms up in April or something, we'll have them lit up till at least end of February, I think. So we'll see. I'm excited. This is my project today. And Brits. Brits got to go to work for a couple of hours yet, but I'm going to be working on this. Britt is getting all suited up, getting ready to go put together her snowman. He's as big as I am. Chevy, are you going to help her? 
He'll be scared of it. <laughs> it's he's, he's, even, it. he's even sketchy about my gloves. <laughs> oh, who's that? Somebody on the porch. Oh. Okay, he's okay now. You guys got to stay in here though, okay? Well, I guess Shep could go out. Little guys got to stay in because their paws freeze really quickly. And because they take off. And they take <laughs> Our off, Our big yeah. boys are much better behaved. Yeah, and you could get picked up by a hungry bear at this season. You I don't could know. get picked up by a hungry squirrel at this season. Look how small he is. Yeah. Squirrel's going to drag you to his nest and pack you away with all his nuts. What? I'm a little bit nutty. <laughs> He's concerned. Where is she going? <laughs> I need a took. Hey, so got everything we need here and I'll start one strand at a time. So I'm gonna go out and hang the first strand, sort of see how to do this. See if I can get a rhythm going or something. I'm gonna start at one corner of the house and work our way all the way around. Wait, what do I got here? I got more than one, don't I? Wait, is this part of the same one? Part of the same one? Part of the same one, or is this two? This is all the same one, isn't it? No, I got two here. Oh man, I untangled these all yesterday, I promise. Well, I've made a small dent. This has taken a lot longer than I thought it would, but everything always does, right? That's the way life goes. Diesel, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm gonna go show them what I've got done so far. Maybe they'll be a little impressed. I thought I'd be a lot further along than this already, but hey, doing what we can. Okay. So we got the red and green lights done all the way down to the end of the house over there, just on the front. And then we're just starting to put these icicle lights on the bottom of that. Yeah, that'll go all the way along the, the house as well. I think it's going to look really nice at nighttime. It's been a good temperature to get this done today too. It's only about minus three, minus four Celsius. So it's right around the freezing point. It's probably around like 30 Fahrenheit, 30 Fahrenheit, something like that. So it's cool, but it's not too cool. It's not cold enough that my hands freeze, right? So we're getting stuff done, getting stuff done. I ripped one of the wires on this by accident. So I'm fixing it with super glue. This one right here, it popped out. So I put it back in and I just super glued the cord to the the frame there so it can't come out again thinking outside the box telling you what so uh we gotta do the back of the house yet the sides of the house and the garage probably not gonna get this all done today i've got to leave on a trip tonight yet towards uh alberta and then from alberta we have a load going down to georgia i haven't been down to georgia in years and i'm really looking forward to it i think we're going close to savannah georgia somewhere around there but uh We'll find out more in the next couple of days. For now, let's see how much of this we can get done yet. Britt should be home from work in about a half hour. I'd like to be able to have a little bit more to show for what I got done today. Yeah. Guess we'll see. So I went to the doctor yesterday and uh, I've had some issues with high blood pressure lately. So that, that's a little tidbit of information for you. I don't know what's going on with my body, but uh, you know I've had high blood pressure for for a little while now. So now I have a a blood pressure monitor here. I've got to take my blood pressure every morning and every night, and uh, report back to the doctor. I guess after my next trip, whenever I get back next, go to my family doctor, and uh, he's gonna figure out. Uh, he hasn't diagnosed me with high blood pressure or anything yet. There's there's no diagnosis. It's just. A precautionary thing we're checking for it right now so if it's consistently high like uh last night i went to bed at a at 150 over 97 this morning i woke up and it was fine it was at what 119 over 87 something like that so it was it was doing better but then as the day went on started working outside came back in i just checked it midday and i'm back up to about 150 over 97 again which is a little high it's not like way up there high like your heart's gonna explode but it's, it's higher than it should be for extended periods of time like weeks and weeks and months and months it could weaken your heart muscles and weaken everything and you know lead to a heart attack down the road so it's nothing too big to worry about right now but it is something to be concerned about and that we're, we're looking into it um i also have shortness of breath i get out of breath but i, I blame that on me just being fat i gained 20 pounds again 
So I'm trying to lose weight again. That's going to help. Drink a lot of water. That's going to help. I'm going to bring my blood pressure down. And uh, we want it to be around 120 over 80. Somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, it's something we're working on right now. So I'm um, paying close attention to that. And I have an app that keeps track of everything for me. We're going to find out my average and... Uh, they, they did some tests. They took some of my blood yesterday at the doctor. They're going to test for, you know, the, the regular stuff. Uh, uh, anything wrong with the kidney, anything wrong with uh, the liver, uh, anything else they can find in the blood. You know, and check for diabetes and stuff like that. My grandma did have diabetes. I'm not too sure exactly right now which type of diabetes, but you know, diabetes is diabetes. And it sort of runs down the family. And uh, no one in my immediate family has it. But, you know, there's always a chance that I could. So they'll, they'll check for that, because that could be a reason why my blood pressure would be all over the place. But uh, other than that, it's just uh, eating healthier. Like I said, trying to get into a healthier lifestyle. Walking every day, eating better, drinking more water, uh, eating less salt and sodium. Uh, you, know, you know, my body's just telling me, hey, you're not 18 anymore, you know, you're getting there. You're not old yet, but you gotta be careful because if you wanna feel good when you're old, you better start paying attention to me. So, okay, so I'm getting the message. I'm starting to pay attention to my body and my health because, you know, when I'm in my 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, I still wanna be feeling good. So, uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, we're gonna be tracking it the next couple of weeks. So maybe I'll bring you guys along for that. Something to talk about and it is something going on in my life right now. I've never really had any health issues ever in my life. I've been healthy as a horse my whole life. Is that the saying? Healthy as a horse? It is now. So it worries me a little bit, but, uh, you know. We have the means to take care of it. Let's get back to Christmas lights. Christmas. Christmas makes me happy. Talking about doctors does not make me happy. I need another box. Where's the box? Oh, I brought them over here already. All right, we're gonna have to go get another box because these aren't even gonna, they're not gonna quite reach across the whole front of the house, unfortunately. These are only 2.2 .2 meters long. It's ridiculous. It's like seven foot two inches. Well, I think we pretty well got her done here as much as we could. Just on the front though, I still gotta come back next weekend after this next trip and finish it up. Here's Brit's snowman. <laughs> he lights up at night. Got these all the way down here, but I didn't have quite enough of these icicle lights. I'm gonna have to go back and get another couple, and I'm gonna have to exchange this one. You probably can't tell right now. Uh, halfway through, it it's not lit up anymore, so I'm gonna have to go and exchange that one for a new one, and then get another two so that it goes down all the way to the end over here. And then those red and green ones, they're gonna go around, all the way around the back, and all the way around the house, and then all the way around the garage as well. So what do you think, bud? Think it looks good? I think it looks good. He's kind of quiet, doesn't talk much. You look a lot better when you're lit up, you know that? No offense or anything, you just... We'll have to show you once the sun goes down what he looks like when he's all lit up. But we gotta go on another trip first, so... We gotta head out to Saskatchewan and then Alberta and then back home yet. So I hope you guys will tune in. You'll have to wait till next weekend to see all the lights lit up. It's a little too close to Remembrance Day yet. I know when you're watching this, Remembrance Day is... Uh, uh, hasn't happened yet, but for for us when I set this up, it's Remembrance Day weekend I'm only setting it up because I'm at home. Otherwise, I'd wait till after the weekend But I figure since I was at home, I'll, I'll spend this weekend setting up as much as I can But the lights all turn on after Remembrance Day. You don't want to take anything away from our our soldiers So Christmas starts the day after I should clarify that last statement Remembrance Day is not just about the fallen soldiers. It's also about those still serving Thank you to all of those who are serving and not just our Canadian military. I know there's a lot of you Americans that are watching as well. Thank you for your service. You guys are the good guys and I appreciate you. And all of our other friends around the world who are serving in militaries that agree with us. I think I said this in the last vlog already, right? And if you're our enemy, well, uh, you gotta reevaluate your life decisions. <laughs> and we hope for a future of peace. 
So thanks for watching today. Short little video. I'm just buzzing around the house here trying to get some stuff done. Still got a lot of work to do next weekend yet, but it is starting to look a lot like Christmas outside. And I know you Americans, I know, I know, it's not hard. What about Thanksgiving? Eat some turkey first. I know you guys can wait. You guys wait, have your turkey day, and then start Christmas. For us, we already had our turkey day, so full on Christmas in this house. Not all Canadians are like us. We're just a little hardcore. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the down button if you didn't like it. Uh, share it with all your friends, uh, either to show them how good it was or how bad it was, or share it to get a good laugh if you think it was ridiculous. Hey, I don't care. We're all on the same team if you're liking and sharing and commenting, right? Either way, it helps me and I appreciate it. So thanks again, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're back in the truck, for those of you who like trucking. Back in the truck tomorrow.